Hi, this is Mario Tarabasi of the CHGO Blackhawks podcast. And I'm Vinny Duber with the CHGO White Sox podcast. And this is the CHGO Tavern Style podcast, where we uh, talk a little bit about the news of the day, trending stuff going on in sports and specifically Chicago sports. And today, uh, Vinny and I are going to talk about the reports uh, that the Chicago Blackhawks are once again going to be hosting the Winter Classic uh, in 2025 uh, reportedly going to be at Wrigley Field, that coming from Ben Pope of the Chicago Sun-Times. And Vinny, I don't know if you've been tuned in too much to the to the news today, but a lot of people are saying the Blackhawks, again, get the Winter Classic. And while that's fair, they've had about 9 million outdoor games. Uh, a lot of people are saying, like, is it too early for the Blackhawks to have the Winter Classic? You know, this is a team that's in the middle of a rebuild. They're you know, they don't really have the uh, attractive NHL names that you would want in one of these marquee events. But from my standpoint, you have Connor Bedard. That's the biggest uh, attraction to getting this game and getting Chicago involved in it again. Absolutely. I mean, it sounds it makes perfect sense to me, right? I mean, this yeah. is a guy who came into the league and already is one of the biggest stars, one of the guys that fans are gravitating to. Isn't that exactly what you want with your with your marquee games, with your showcase games? Uh, certainly when the White Sox played in the Field of Dreams game, which was kind of a similar situation, yeah. who were they playing against? The Yankees, right? I mean, the Blackhawks are just one of those teams in the NHL. They get eyeballs, and it seems to make total sense as to why the league would want them. I get why hockey fans probably maybe you know, of other teams are a little like, all right, here we go again. Mm -hmm. But uh, it, to me, it makes perfect sense. Yeah, and, and I think the, the the too early time frame, I think also some concerns while it's about how the team is made up, I think also thinking about like, okay, it's in Wrigley Field again. It's, 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 it's the Blackhawks again. It's Wrigley Field again, even though it's, you know, renovated since 2009. Um, you know, you look at some of the other venues that the Blackhawks have played in. They played at Notre Dame Stadium in the Winter Classic a number of years ago. That was technically Chicago's mm. Winter Classic. Mm. Um, and you had an outdoor game at, at Soldier Field. They haven't played at, at guaranteed rate outdoors. Um, I know the White Sox are, are talking about a new stadium. The Bears are obviously talking about a new stadium. Um, could they, would it have made sense to maybe have waited to say, here, here's a brand new venue in Chicago that you can put on that stage. Uh, and with the White Sox, like that could be something that you could, you could sell on getting a new stadium is like, Hey, we're going to try and get these kinds of events, uh, brought into the, to the city, brought into the, to the team with like the White Sox stamp on it. Absolutely. Whether it's the Sox or the Bears, I mean, just look at like the Super Bowl, right? And where those have been uh, going in recent years, that brand new stadium out in Los Angeles, a brand new stadium out in Las Vegas. It makes sense that a new stadium is a glitzy place to showcase what's the what's going on in the city, what's going on with the teams in the city. And maybe you're right from a timeline standpoint, <laughs> maybe the Blackhawks ascendancy, if we can call it that, uh, would, line, would line up with when a new stadium would be built for either the White Sox or the Bears if they end up kind of uh, doing something on the lakefront as well. Uh, for me, though, it, the same old, same old kind of comes not from the fact that they're going back to Wrigley Field. I mean, listen, at the end of the day, if you're going to have an outdoor game at a stadium in Chicago... Wrigley Field's the one to do Pretty it at, nice, right? Yeah. But the fact that you're just doing it at a baseball stadium again, and I think, you know, you said 15 years it's been since the mm -hmm. since the the first one that was at Wrigley Field. To me, that was such a like novel thing at the time, and in the decade and a half since, it's been baseball stadium, just regular baseball stadium in St. Louis or, mm -hmm. or Minneapolis, regular football stadium wherever. You know, there haven't been a lot of unique venues, in in my opinion, at least outside of just, well, okay, once you've played a hockey game in a baseball stadium or a football stadium, you've kind of seen, seen it. it yeah. To me, it's less about, oh man, they have to keep wedging the same teams in there like the Blackhawks or, or you know, any of the other bigger teams, maybe for the Canadian audiences yeah. as well, but more so make it a spectacle again. Yeah. You want to have it in Chicago? Look to what NASCAR is doing. You know, having it down in Grant Park, something like mm -hmm. that. Throw a throw a a, a, a rink and a, a some temporary seating down there in the park. You get the whole skyline. I mean, you get the lake in the background. Right on the lake, that yeah. that to me would be a reason to tune in. Whether I'm a Blackhawks fan or somebody watching out in 
California or mm-hmm. up in Canada or anything like that. To me, make it a spectacle. Make it something where, you know, I think I, I, I was reading earlier today, there's been some suggestions, oh, put it on the National Mall, you know, for when the Capitol's <laughs> yeah, hosted again yeah. in D.C. I mean, rather than putting it in, I think it's been in Nats Park. Like, mm-hmm. what's cool about Nats Park? Like, yeah, it's hockey outside. We've seen that for almost 20 years now. Right. Let's see it in some really wild, cool places. I think there was, you know, some people bandying about the idea of put it on the strip in Vegas, yeah. you know, that kind of thing. To me, that's the cool thing that would get me to tune in. To you know, I, I I get oh, let's put it in a glitzy new stadium. Sure, if your heart's set on having it be in a baseball stadium or a football stadium, yeah, maybe wait till the till the Sox got something new down there in the mm-hmm. South Loop. But to me, throw it throw it in a weird spot and let's yeah. see it, let's see it be cool. Well, they've had it on Lake Tahoe, and the, the views there were amazing. Now, obviously, the sun brought in some 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 problems with the glare but it was it was an incredible venue they've had it at uh AT&T Stadium in in Dallas you know with the massive uh, arena that you know is, is Jerry's world so I've always said put it like literally put it on Lake Michigan I know it's not feasible but like let have the lake freeze over and then find out some way to to put some floating stands out there make it make it ridiculous I like the idea of potentially having it like in a makeshift area like making Grant Park and an, an ice facility would be incredible and yeah I think with Chicago you get the lakefront you get the views I think that would be perfect but you know, the, the NHL is coming off of their least watched winter classic in the history of the event when they just had it uh, last month with Vegas, the defending Stanley Cup champion and the Seattle Kraken, you know, brand new team Two both both brand new teams. And the debut game for Connor Bedard this season, the, the season opener against Pittsburgh outdrew viewership of the winter classic. So I think. Yes. Could it be too early from a venue point, from a team standpoint of the Blackhawks, where they're at right now with how competitive they are? Yes. But at the end of the day, the NHL is trying to make money off of this marquee event, and they're going to try and put as many eyes on the event as possible with Connor Bedard and the Blackhawks. And they're going to go back to that, that well as much as possible to try and make sure that that revenue is coming in. So is it early? Yes. Do I care? No. <laughs> I'm just I'm I'm very excited to to be able to to have it back in Chicago. It's going to be a good a, a, an awesome experience. It'll work too. Oh you know yeah. What I mean, I mean, people you criticize the NHL for for going back to the well all you want. It'll work. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and as many people are saying, like, oh, the being being upset that the Blackhawks have it again, you're still going to watch. You're still watching. And just like you're still watching CHGO uh, Tavern Style here, that uh, I, I love this this new endeavor that we're doing here. I love these these quick conversations, and I love being able to interact with everyone in the office. Like, coming into this, you and I have had a few conversations in, in passing, but it's great to have some face-to-face time behind the microphone. Absolutely. All right, thanks for listening. We all silly like the mayor. 